Hello, welcome to Mina's Bookshelf for another Tarot Deck review. This is the Tarot of Hearts by Isabel Hayes. It's a US Games um, new release. They sent me a review copy in exchange for an unbiased review. So here are my thoughts. Let's read something from uh, the back of the box to begin with. We have embarked on a dazzling tarot odyssey that celebrates the creative arts in all its myriad forms, dance, music, drama, cinema, and storytelling. Tarot of Arts, Arts plus Arts, invites you to enjoy the colorful parade of tarot characters who will kindle your heart as they deliver the divinatory messages. Visionary artist Isabel Hayes and painted each card following the right away system adding an extra lover's card while displaying her own bold and passionate vision. The 79 card decks deck pulsates with world rhythms and delivers uniquely imagined stories. Minor arcana suits are placed with artist tools from paintbrushes to piano keys. Give your imagination the freedom to play with new shades and hues as you embark on your own inspirational tarot journey. Okay, so these are the two, uh, really, um, two definitions that really stick with me when it comes to trying to describe this deck. This is um, bold, absolutely colorful, uh, visionary, um, passionate, full of energy, so much so that when I receive the deck, I actually did something that I do not usually do. I normally open the deck, I go through the cards one by one, I take a look at the guidebook, and then I start... Uh, doing readings to see how um, we get along with this deck the energy exuded from the uh, the box from the moment I held it in my hands and the first thing I did was open it take the cards out and immediately shuffle the deck and start doing readings this is how um, passionate and full of fuego uh, this this deck is it's an uncommonly big box for a tarot deck for the um, for US games. So this is absolutely doesn't look like, doesn't feel like a um, a mass market deck. It really feels like a beautiful details all around, like an indie version, an indie independently produced decks. And I think it's also priced a little bit higher than a. Um, conventional mass market deck um, US games standards so as you can see from the image I don't know if you're really uh, familiar with art movements but this deck is heavily inspired to uh, Salvador Dali's surrealistic art an art movement that started at the beginning of the 1900 started by Andre Breton although one of the most iconic painters is um, we identify with is the Salvador Dali, which seems to be uh, the main inspiration for Isabel Hayes. Bold colors, surrealistic images, um, you know, the, the, the art movement, this structured reality and try to dig into the subconscious mind using images that do not represent reality in a conventional, traditional way. Um, a more uh, of a surrealistic, strange, visionary, different and destructed way of representing reality. So back to the uh, beautiful deck. It um, comes in this very heavy uh, package here. It's a two-part art box plain black inside and a humongous book this is the reason why the uh, the box was so heavy look at this chunker this is a magnificent book and we'll find out why um, this deck uh, gets a lot of points uh, a lot of stars in my review my final uh, uh, score is five out of five stars and not only because of the cards and we will go and take a look at them but also because of this um, fabulous fabulous book the book in and of itself is a uh, the reason why you should have uh, you should have this article deck we have the table of contents this is the beautiful uh, glossy paper 
than uh, U.S. Games usually uh, uses. To my beloved parents, although departed, they will forever be the Empress and the Emperor in my life. That's beautiful. Gazing into the Tarot is like peering inside your heart. Intuitively, you will identify with one or more of the cards. As you connect with the cards, it is recommended that you carefully listen to the beat and tempo they invoke for your artistic voyage. So the old deck, um, the name of the deck really plays on the uh, combination of heart and art. Creativity starts from the, uh, your heart space, so it totally makes sense to me. Welcome to the Tarot of Hearts. The title of this deck is a combination of two of my favorite words, heart and arts. Art, art should come from the heart, so I blended the two words into one. <coughs> the result is a colorful odyssey filled with fantasy and rhythm of art elements just waiting to be discovered. The symbolism in this tarot follows the Rider Waite myth system, but as you will see, the creator uh, uses um, movies, paintings, um, songs, poetry. She mixes everything together. And the images are, for this reason, uh, absolutely uh, eye-catching, uh, very bold, also for the uh, choice of uh, colors. And the guidebook it is really inspirational. Each card is a story uniquely hand-painted, which enlivens the protagonist to dance, pose, and deliver the divinatory message. In unison, the heart speaks through this third odyssey. The quotes, okay, well, let's go ahead and we'll see what she means by that. The characters will actually, each of the characters represented in each of the arcana will talk to you directly through the guidebook. Um, the cards are intended to be read upright and reversed. So we're going to uh, the card themselves. So we have a beautiful, colorful picture. Of the of the um, of the card, the number and the and the name, and then there's an extensive write up in which uh, the creator describes what's happening and why she made certain choices here in the representation of the archetype. We'll read one of the cards. Then there's a paragraph. The heart speaks. And it's like the character of the card is directly speaking to you, trying to inspire you. And then we have keywords for the open heart, which would be keywords for the upright, if the card comes up in the upright, and uh, closed heart uh, keywords in that you can use if the card reveals itself in, um, in a different direction, in uh, upside down, reversed, actually. And then we have for each of the of the cards a beautiful inspirational quote. Okay, so let's go and take a look. For example, at the Minor Arcana, we have about the same uh, amount of uh, description of the card, the same um, inspirational message from the uh, character of the card that speaks to you the open heart and closed art keywords and then the usual quote in the back of the book we have a final note with gratitude a few blank pages oh, actually just one blank page for notes this is Isabel Born in Guatemala City and raised in Madrid and Los Angeles, Isabel is now based in San Francisco. Mostly a self-taught painter and illustrator, Isabel's subjects emerge entirely from her imagination. Her work is spontaneous and intuitive. Her work has been selected for several juried exhibitions and has been exhibited in New York and London, and this is her first project. Let's take a look at the spreads. We have the uh, heart spread. The five card spread follows the shape of the heart with your eyes closed and holding the deck with both hands. Feel your heart. When you're ready, open your eyes and shuffle the deck and then randomly pull five cards from the deck and place them face down on the table. So we have the card for the present moment, for the past, the advice, the challenges and the future. And I think this is the only spread suggested here in the guidebook. We have 
grab a ribbon that helps you pull up the deck it's a sturdy uh, box with a cute detail actually no it's upside down so cute little dog with a t-shirt stripey t-shirt very cute and these are the cards the first thing that hit me about the cards and made it so uh, easy for me to just begin to shuffle and do readings over and over and over again as soon as i got the deck is also the size of the the cards the cards are slightly shorter let me get a deck for comparison this is a hay house but pretty much the the size of the card is pretty standard for an oracle deck as you can see the cards are slightly shorter and wider and i really like this uh, this size it makes it so easy to shuffle even when you have relatively small hands like mine. Uh, the cardstock is the linen finish um, cardstock that US Games has been using on a few decks lately. It's um, thin, but fle flexible, but resilient. And the edges are gilded in this antique gold. Really nice. So this is the detail in the back. It's the heart. And it's completely reversible. Okay. I have to apologize. The deck is not in order anymore because I do use it for readings. And it takes quite some time to put everything back in order. So we're going to go through the cards and every once in a while we're going to pause and reflect on the card and see how the um, symbolism and the iconography uh, reflects the traditional RWS system and in which way instead is innovative. We'll read one of the cards from uh, the guidebook at the end. This is the Queen of Cups. So we have two paint brushes. You will see... Um, things that will remind you that we are in the artistic uh, field uh, almost in every card if it's not something related to visu uh, visual arts like uh, paintings or photography or movies you might rec recognize actually um, images that are, you might be familiar with uh, it might be something referring to music so this is totally makes sense as a uh, queen of cups. She's actually holding the heart. She's a mermaid, the sea creature. Um, and she's with her feet in a um, clamshell. The Ten of Swords. Notice how there is no color here on the palette. It's like there's lack of inspiration, but you can always look and get inspiration from this beautiful uh, sunrise. A new day is dawning. Ace of Wands, it's a flute, so a reference to music. Beautiful, bold colors. This is actually something that is not typical in my um, it, it, it departure a little bit from what I normally collect or use for readings because I don't have, I don't think I have anything. Uh, no. If I do, it's very little when it comes to surrealism and um, visionary, uh, visionary arts. There are not, you know, the typical art deck or the... Um, illustrated um, fairy tale children's books kind of artwork the two of cups seven of cups this is an interesting way to portray maybe we can read this card at the end six of pentacles we had everything here this is a street artist this is asking for money and this is the uh, wealthy person with the scales. 
giving some uh, support, financial aid. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, very RWS, Two of Pentacles, very RWS. Um, I've had a hard time finding an oracle deck to pair it with, but I think that uh, if you have the um, New Orleans, New Orleans, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, the French way or the American way, New Orleans Oracle, I think it's a mass market deck by US Games. I think that would be not only visually, but also thematically the right deck to pair with this one, because of course New Orleans is considered the city of the arts, and has that same uh, very creative, uh, high energy kind of vibe. Knight of Wands. Yeah, the, the Egyptian look of this person, just to remind you that among the possible ways to interpret the card is the, uh, the fact that messages might come from foreign lands from far away so we don't have the pyramids like in the rws but we have the uh, this person that um, is clearly egyptian page of swords four of wands the world card The tower, beautiful card. The queen of wands, my card, beautiful. The moon. The astrological uh, connection with cancer. The wheel of fortune with a film, the chariot, interesting to notice these two horses are definitely not moving and they're actually facing each other, five of wands, justice, beautiful, The sword is pointing up, the decision is made. Two hearts on each side of the scales. One has flowers, the other one has thorns. Two of wands, I immediately saw Freddie Mercury and when I went into the guidebook, I actually saw confirmation of that. Great performer, the Hierophant. The Page of Pentacles, the old vinyl uh, long playing discs. Young people don't, don't even know what that is, probably. Three of Swords, a cracked egg, Temperance. The Heart and the mind, finding balance between the two. The High Priestess, astrological reference to uh, Cancer, the Moon, The Magician, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, The Devil, 
seven of pentacles ace of cups the eight of wands nine of cups eight of pentacles judgment four of cups five of pentacles ace of swords the emperor king of wands little salamander ten of pentacles the hangman the fool standing on blocks interesting the white rose the nokan line companion Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, The Lovers, Strength. So there should be two Lovers cards. Let's see. Where is the <laughs> in the deck? The strength card that is featured on the cover of the box. Beautiful. Three of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups. This reminds me of the same, uh, the same color um, within or without the lines. King of Swords, Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Death card. The Empress, Three of Cups, Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, really pretty. Two of Swords, Duarum Gladiarum. It's about two people fighting, two warriors. Page of Wands, the Sun card. Six of Wands, the other Lovers card, interesting, they wear masks in this one, and this is the little creature that was inside the box, the little detail, and we have the Four of Swords, 
the star and the three no two more few more cards three of pentacles eight of swords the hermit and the five of swords so a lot of diversity different different ethnicities very colorful shuffles like a dream of course cards are very slippery because of the texture really beautiful it really is a pleasure to shuffle this deck i wish us games came up with more decks in this particular size very easy to shuffle okay so we were get taking a look at the seven of um, seven of cups, and then we're gonna try a spread. Three of swords. Let's see. The seven of cups. If I can quickly find it again. That's okay, because there's a, a pretty big illustration on the guidebook anyway. So, we are... The swords are at the end. We're looking for the pentacles. Swords. Cups. No, we're looking for cups. That was a uh, seven of cups. Sorry. Seven of cups. So, here's a nice illustration of the card. Finding balance between order and disorder, illusion and reality, this is the emphasis of the Seven of Cups. How can this balance be achieved? The mind and heart reply by blending logic with a large dose of imagination, creativity and passion, while remaining firmly rooted in the earth. There is a very powerful artery that joins logic and the arts, and the artery is awareness. To master logic and the arts, one must exercise both the heart and mind in unison. Sitting in front of her easel up in the clouds, Violet peeks around her canvas and catches a glimpse of her reflection in the mirror. This mirror is a symbol of illumination, truth and discovery. Suddenly Violet realizes her head has been in the clouds for far too long. She is delighted to discover she has, cho uh, she has choices in life. The art studio in the cloud is not the only art studio available in the universe. With that realization, she plans to remove her mask and face the truth. The heart speaks. Discover yourself and create the life you desire. Expand your awareness and get your head out of the clouds. Exercise logic and heart. Wake up and smell the roses. The face in the mirror is your truth. Remove the mask and face reality. The inspiration for the Seven of Cups is the tarot. In this tarot comes from the painting Triple Self Portrait by Norma, uh, Norman Rockwell. So it's nice to see how she quotes also the possible source for the inspiration for the creation of the images. Keywords in the open heart, choices, fantasies, dreaming, illusion, castle in the air, closed heart, disorder, neglectful, laziness, procrastination, illogical. The quote is, logic will get you from point A to point B, but imagination will take you everywhere, Albert, Albert Einstein's, Einstein, German physicist and artist. Okay. So this is the deck, the Tarot of Arts by Isabel Hayes. Let's see how the cards look next to each other. do a mini bonus reading first card is the situation the eight of cups disappointment disillusionment somebody moving away from a situation that doesn't serve them anymore the challenge high priestess it's not knowing yet what you're going towards not having yet a final destination the universe knows, but maybe you're not ready to know yet where you're going. There's a sense of mystery. Queen of Swords, the advice, use your logical mind, get information, read, communicate with other people, 
and the possible outcome is justice, is the fair, fair judgment, fair decision, is balancing the karmic scales. All right, bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is will actually bring prosperity, long-standing prosperity for you and other people around you. All right, so this was my walkthrough and review of the Tarot of Arts by Isabel Hayes. Please let me know what you think about it. Did you like it? Is it your kind of deck? Let me have your feedback in the comment section. As usual, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until I see you next time, many blessings.